YouTube. Um, it has been a while. I didn't totally abandon my YouTube channel, but I did, again, unintentionally take a very long hiatus. Um, and I'm here to explain why. I thought about just jumping back in with videos again, uh, but I felt like that would be unfair. I don't know if the last video I uploaded also started like that. I've filmed this video a couple of times actually, um, but now I'm kind of fully committing to filming, editing, and uploading this this weekend. Um, and possibly going back to kind of semi-regular posting. Not fully promising anything, but um, I took a break because I really needed to focus on writing my debut fantasy novel. Um, and I was incredibly busy. I had been working at a medical college and then there was a bunch of ADA violation stuff and that was a whole issue. Um, I'm working a new job and I absolutely love it. It is wonderful. Like outside of publishing, because publishing, I, publishing and writing, I don't think I will ever stop doing. Um, but so I had issues with like job stuff for a little bit, like non-writing related job stuff. Um, and then Nightshade Publishing has been doing really well. Um, we're steadily growing. We have three anthologies out. So you guys will remember the Willow Tree Swing. I definitely released that while I was still on YouTube. But since then, I've also, or we, because it's Willow and I, have also released Of Ink and Paper. And then more, most recently was Balloon Children, which I absolutely love. I love our three anthologies. We have a fourth anthology coming out in October of this year, The House Built Between the Branches. That'll be in October. And then obviously my debut novel, which I did a live stream doing or talking about uh, the launch and release of it. Um, I'm super proud of it. I've got, you know, my paperback copy. I have one of the first hardback copies. There were some issues with this one that I printing wise, I have the gifts now, of course, printing wise that I had to redo primarily that this inside cover, this design is supposed to be a little bit more centered and stuff. Anywho, um, my books came out. They've been doing really well. I have thousands of pages read on Kindle Unlimited and I've sold over a hundred copies and it's like really cool things for like a first time debut indie author in our anthologies. I love them so much. Um, we, Nightshade, is doing an open call for novels right now. We're going to be accepting novel submissions. So I've been doing a lot of work for that and researching, you know, what all goes into publishing other people's works. Because when I first started Nightshade, it was originally just for me to publish my own anthologies. But then I, I thought to myself that it would be incredibly awesome to expand the publishing opportunities for other people. And so I forgot to turn my computer audio back to headset. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're doing a lot with Nightshade. I can go into that in another video. Um, but I was, I was really focusing on, on building my business, which has been incredibly fun. Um, and like I said, I'm not working at that medical college anymore. I'm actually working a corporate job and it's actually really cool. I'm really enjoying it. It's work from home, which I absolutely love. Um, likewise, still married. Um, more love than ever. <laughs> Noah and I have been married for just over a year now, a year and four months. It's been wonderful. We've been making our house a home. I've been loving it. My office is still like only half clean, <laughs> which is okay. I meant to paint it last summer, but then I didn't. I only painted our entryway, which is like 
the least used room in our house. Um, but yeah. Um, other life updates. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you'll have seen that my cat Maestro passed away in February after 12 wonderful years of having him. Um, it was very sudden. It was out of nowhere. He was not sick. He seemingly had a heart attack and just passed away, um, which was incredibly traumatic. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, still recovering from that. And I think part of recovery is going to be like getting back into doing things that I kind of stopped doing. I don't know. I also just miss making YouTube videos, but I also have no idea what I want to make YouTube videos about. I think there is only so much writing advice I can give. And I'm also at the stage in my career and my knowledge where I'm like, the advice I give also can only go so far. It all really depends on personal application, how people are understanding the things that I'm explaining. Do I have the ability to really chat in depth with people? Which I do. I have a Discord server in which I love chatting with people about, about writing, publishing, all sorts of things. I love talking with people in my Discord server. I will have a link down below. It's free to join. Absolutely free. There's, I don't think anything is like locked behind paywalls or anything like it used to be when I had Patreon. Um, so yeah, join my Discord. Um, shameless plug. I love my Discord. <laughs> Pal place. Um, yeah, because I feel like there are only so many things that I can talk about writing craft wise without without like essentially making them assignments and then grading people like a professor. Um, I only have a bachelor's in creative writing, so while technically I could teach creative writing at several institutions, um, the University of YouTube I don't think is hiring, so <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I mean, if there are topics people want me to make videos about, Again, join my Discord server and tell me about it and I'll think about making a video. <laughs> or I'll just answer in the Discord server. Um, yeah, I don't super know what I want to do with the channel, but I, I've been wanting to get back into filming for months, honestly. I've been thinking about different videos and like planning them out in my head and nothing is... I, I haven't done anything. I haven't set up my camera. I haven't set up my tripod. I've done it for like TikToks and Instagram reels, which I should honestly import over to YouTube shorts. Like there's no reason for me not to. Um, I do have a reading series that I want to do, uh, getting through my physical TBR, maybe my digital TBR, my TBR in general, because um, I really, only want to have books on my shelf that I really like, that I really enjoy. Um, and I don't want to be displaying books on my shelves if, you know, I read them and it's like, oh, this actually definitely is not something that I want to be advertising as having or like, you know, and it's like, yeah, that book is on my shelf, but I haven't read it yet. Ha ha. Um, so I want to do that and I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize that. I have the initial idea planned. It'd be like me grabbing a book from my physical TBR that I have been, or digital, that I have been ignoring. Like, I just haven't read it yet, but I'm always saying that I'm gonna get around to it. And I sit down and I read it for 25 minutes over like time lapse. And then after the 25 minutes is done, I like give a little review of how far I got in the first 25 minutes. and. If I think I like the story and if I picture myself continuing it, like, or if I'm just going to sell it or donate it right away and then like maybe do update videos where it's like, Hey, I finished reading that book. I said I was going to finish reading or like, Hey, I actually ended up DNFing it. And like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it or I'm going to sell it or I'm going to put it in the little free library across the street from my house. Cause yes, there is a little free library across the street from my house. 
it doesn't always get like a lot of traffic, but I think it gets enough traffic um, that if I stuck some of my books in there, that it'd be fine. I've thought about putting my own book in there. Um, let me know if I should do that. I'm like almost worried. I could like sign it and be like, dear free little library visitor, like this is my book. I hope you enjoy it. Like, like I'm a local author. I am. Um, enjoy the book. Like, tag me on Instagram that you got it. Um, or maybe don't tag me on Instagram that you got it because I don't want like people accidentally doxing me and where I live. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to stay on track. I don't foresee myself editing this video a ton. In fact, I may just do like lighting correction and audio correction on it and then just it right up onto YouTube um, because I need to not procrastinate about getting this video up. So yes, future of the channel, uncertain. I don't know what I wanna do. I wanna do some reading videos. Um, I always think about like, what if I do like different things around my house? And I'm like, I don't want to show people all around my house. Cause one, that means it has to be like social media clean. Cause not that other people expect it, but I don't want to be like showing off like my mountains of dirty dishes or like the piles of books I leave places or my socks i just take socks off and leave them places or like my shoes um but it's my house and i can do what i want um i would love chronicling like when noah and i get a new cat i think that would be something really fun to have more memories when i got my stro i was I don't even think I had any social media accounts and I didn't have a phone. So like, I don't have a lot of pictures of him as a kitten. Like he used to fit into my hand. Like I could just hold him and I have so many memories. I have tons of photos of him for the past, you know, 10 years or so. Um, probably more recently, like the last six years. Um, but I would love to have more of a chronicled journey and more things to look back on with um, the next animals that we get. I'm a very, very emotional person um, and I had my stroke for 12 years. So his, his loss is very much felt. Um, but yeah, moving away from that. I could also, like super moving away from that, I could also start trying to like vlog or stream my writing process for um, the second book in the Tablin Tales series, uh, the sequel to Down with the Prince. Down with the Prince is a duology. You do not have to worry about me leaving you guys on another, you know, giant cliffhanger for um, the end of book two, because the end of book two will be the end of uh, Hollis, Luxa, and Dagon's Tale. At least for now, um, I have other books I want to get to. I have several... I I started off as a dark fantasy author. I don't know if people realize that about me. Um, and it's not something you would assume off the bat about me, especially with how like funny and chaotic Prince is. Um, but I, I think instead of dark fantasy, because I think dark fantasy has changed a lot from when I first started writing it, and it doesn't necessarily vibe with me as much, and because I have a little bit more education under my belt, I think the category that I actually fall into is gothic and then like naturalism gothic or like dark romanticism would kind of be like a dark naturalism-ish uh, vibe. You know, like spooky dark woods, spooky house mansion castle thing, curses and you know, subtle magic, things like that. Very different from what Prince is. But I also want to continue writing stories like Prince. So I'm going to have like a dichotomy thing where I have the Tablin Tales series, which will be like a lot of different characters, different like romanticies set in this world, you know, with Katal, Omil, Tablin. I might even make up other countries. And this world currently, it's only three continents and realistically only like two of them are thriving because Katal definitely like oh mill. <laughs> um, I guess I do wear my shoes inside sometimes. Um, 
So I have that and then I want to write my gothics. I have so many wonderful, again, hiccups. I have so many wonderful gothics planned. Um, you guys, I am drowning in book ideas. I know sometimes authors are like, I'm really struggling for ideas and this is not this sound like I'm not like other authors. <laughs> it's like I have too many ideas and most of the time they're just like idea nuggets. So I have to like figure out how to like Frankenstein them together and and like what project I want to work on next and what realistically would work for marketing and like five year plans and things like that. At one point I had a 12 year book publishing plan written out. This was last year. Um, I think I'm going to finagle with it a little bit because I'm changing some things up. Um, but yeah, I could definitely process or like record my writing process or like my plotting process or how I, how I go about doing those kinds of things. I don't know though, because I'm really bad at setting up my phone. If you guys did not know, I film on my phone. I have a Pixel 4a, one of the older Pixel models. Um, I think it records beautifully. I use the front facing camera. If I use the back facing camera, it'd be 4k, but like that takes forever to export. So the front facing 1080p is perfectly fine. It's high definition quality. You know, when YouTube puts up HD, that's annoying sometimes that standard edition goes live before high definition sometimes. Um, <laughs> Rambling. Um, but yeah, I could record those things. It's just hard to pick up my phone and remember to do that because I'm always just like, what if someone tries to call me in the middle of filming, which has happened so many times? Or like, what if I get an important message and I don't see it? And it's like, I've, I've, been, I've been wanting to get a camera, like an actual camera for ages, for years. But I've always been like, well, in order to get a camera, I need to film more um, because I need to be able to justify purchasing a camera. I get a used one, but it's like I need to justify purchasing a camera. But in order to be able to do that, I need to film more. But to film more, I need to use my phone's camera more to film me. But I don't want to do You see, I am like stuck in this like circular loop. But the you know, people I've been telling that I'm gonna upload and get back into YouTube are finally pressuring me and then my boss told me to and now I'm just like well now I have to because I told people I wanted to and now they're holding me to it <laughs> um I think I am almost out of things to say you see the thing about YouTube though is that I am a master at talking like for a really long time about things like long form content is probably where I thrive the most as long as I can stay focused um because short form content I am too long winded for <laughs> Instagram only gives me 90 seconds TikTok gives me 10 minutes but I don't think anyone watches a 10 minute TikTok to be honest um people are always like oh there's the 10 minute feature people scroll like within two minutes um YouTube is where it's at where am I even at right now? I'm at 18 minutes and 33, 34 seconds. I have been talking this whole time, practically without issue. So you can see why I'm also not very good at posting videos on TikTok and Instagram is because I talk too much. Um, anyway, I'm gonna throw this into a video editing software. Um, I'm going to do the color correction I want to and audio correction and I'm going to set it to upload tomorrow morning which if you were watching this would be Saturday morning because it's Friday right now and I told people I'd film and I knew if I didn't film tonight that I just wouldn't oh the other reason I haven't really been wanting to film recently I don't love I used to put on almost a full face of makeup for filming which is fun I like doing my makeup I have been dealing with breakouts for on and off for months and I've been like I don't want to put makeup on it and I don't necessarily want to film with it but I also think I'm 25 and I do not care so sometimes I'll probably put makeup on sometimes I probably won't is it gonna be slightly maybe embarrassing to see my my breakouts 
maybe to me, I don't really think anyone who I care about is going to care. And if you care, I probably don't care about you. So that was mean. I'm sorry. I'm also tired at this point. It's incredibly late at night. It's like, uh, my computer monitor is too far away. It's 11 something. Um, there's no way I'm reading that. I also need to go to the eye doctor because I get like every two years. <laughs> I also need to go to the dentist. I haven't gone to the dentist in a while. I also have so many other medical procedures I need to have done. Like talking like full on procedures that I'm just like, mm, I'll save up for that. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll end with, hey, go buy prints. You can buy copies directly through my website, xanarene.com slash shop, which takes you to nightshadepublishing.com slash shop. Um, that's for US only. You can buy paperback or hardback. Um, that is where I get the biggest cut. You can also, though, if it's easy, or I understand it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble. It's on pretty much every international online retailer website. Like, I have friends in Poland who bought it. I have friends in Sweden who bought it. I have people in the UK and in Australia and in Germany have bought it. Um, it's, I've got international wide distribution. You should be able to get this pretty much anywhere. Paperback and hardback. Um, the ebook is still exclusive through Kindle Unlimited. If you don't have Kindle Unlimited, you can typically sign up and get an account free for like three months or like get three months for 99 cents. And you can read as many books as you want during that period. Honestly, I recommend like signing up for those free trial, like cheapo trials for a little bit, reading as many books as you like within that trial, and then like waiting, like canceling it, and then like building up another list of like books that you want to read and then signing up again, either using a promo or sometimes when you cancel, they give you extended promos. Um, I get paid per page read on Kindle Unlimited. There are 433 pages in my book. Typically, it's about 0 0.004 or 0 0.04. I forget which one. I think it's 0 0.004 cents per page read. So I get about like five to eight bucks per completed Kindle read in the US. Um, if you buy my physical book and you also have Kindle Unlimited, feel free to just download it and just click on through. Give me those pages read. <laughs> this is the marketing that my Discord server is going to be proud of. They always tell me to market. Um, if you love anthologies, Nightshade has three anthologies out currently. We have Blue and Children. That's kind of like a Ghibli-like anthology with like magical, uh, like magical joys of childhood. It's cute. I think in paper kind of goes through the magic of prose. Um, it's a bunch of different stories surrounding words and writing. Um, then we have the Willow Tree Swing, which is the pros of green. I love it. A fun fact, I made this cover. This was the second book cover I ever made. And then I made this cover and like, it's amazing. I didn't make this one, I bought this one <laughs> online. But I made the cover for the house built between the branches and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Cause like, high key, I did fantastic on it. I just get better with every cover. I did not make this cover um, at the Loloco, L-O-L-L-O-C-O -L -L -O -O, on Instagram and TikTok. Made the art for Down With The Prince. She did the character art. She did the book stuff. I'm rambling. I'm really tired. This is gonna be like a 20 some minute video, but guess what? That's what you're getting. Um, hi, I'm kind of back. Life has been hard but I'm tougher and my friends have bullied me back onto YouTube. So um, you can thank them. You can directly thank my boss. You can thank Willow. You can thank Carthorax. You can thank my husband. You can thank Hannah Carter. You can thank my other friend, Hannah, whose last name I'm not saying for privacy reasons. You can thank all of the girls from my d, &D group for inspiring me and loving me. Um, this is turning into an acknowledgements. I am, <laughs> I'm losing it.
I'm just losing it. I need you to stop the video. Another reason I don't feel anymore is I'm just, I, I'm not structured enough to do YouTube, truly. I mean, my other videos will probably be fine, but like this one, this is gonna be like 30 minutes of me just rambling at my computer, at my phone, my computer's right there. But that's probably why you guys love watching me. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do like knitting stuff. I would just look at my giant jar of knitting needles. Maybe I'll do knitting stuff because I'm kind of getting back into knitting again. That would be fun. Okay, that's it. Um, as I kind of mentioned, I'm more active on Instagram and TikTok at Santa's Books. I'm kind of back here. Subscribe if you're still watching at this point. Go ahead and subscribe because at this point, um, you're you're stuck. You're in this with me. I'm going to edit this and get it uploaded and try not to die from embarrassment tomorrow when I realize that there are going to be people watching this YouTube video. Oh, also go subscribe to my newsletter. Okay, bye.